Welcome to the M521 Controller Operation Modes Guide. In this video, we will show you how to switch between the different operation modes on your M521 controller. Understanding and utilizing these modes will allow you to control your pump system effectively. Let's get started. Step 1. Press the mode button on the controller to switch between manual and auto mode. The mode button allows you to toggle between these two operation modes. Step 2. In manual mode, you have the manual control over the pump's operation. To start the pump, press the start button on the controller. The pump will begin running according to the set parameters. Step 3. To stop the pump in manual mode, press the stop button on the controller. This will halt the pump's operation. Now let's explore the auto mode, where the pump operates automatically based on input signals. In auto mode, the pump will start and stop automatically in response to input signals from your float switches, probes or pressure switches. By connecting appropriate sensors or switches to the controller, you can configure it to respond to specific conditions. For example, if you have float switches installed in a sump or tank, when the liquid level rises to a certain point, the float switch sends a signal to the controller triggering the pump to start. Conversely, when the liquid level drops below a specified level, the float switch sends another signal, prompting the pump to stop. This automated operation ensures that the pump operates only when needed, reducing energy consumption and providing efficient pump control. Thank you for watching our M521 controller operation modes guide. We hope this video has helped you understand how to switch between manual and auto mode on your controller. If you have any questions or need further assistance, please leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more informative guides. Happy controlling!